Radical. Just watch an upload called The Last Remnant Review on the channel Happy Console Gamer. Now, this was uploaded uh, November 24, 2008, over a decade ago. And I will tell you, it wasn't that bad. Especially for the time, 2008, he had this one little thing he did there. When he transitioned, it was like a cube effect. Kind of fancy for 2008. Kind of fancy. He talked about a game I have not played yet. I have not played The Last Remnant, but uh, I might get around to it. Looks pretty interesting. But if I do play it, I will be aware of the negative things he says about the game. Oh, ho, ho, the happy console gamer being negative, say it ain't so. Yes, some negative things he said about the game, right? He said that the, the it chugged along that the frame rate was terrible. Oh, what negativity from the happy console gamer? He said the voice acting was kind of cringeworthy, not that good. What the fuck is going on here? This guy that people tell me is incredibly positive. And I've had all these people, um, you know, his, his fanboys come to my channel and tell me, hey, hey, Rick, the problem with you is you're just too negative. You're just too negative. Why don't you get happy? Why don't you be like the happy console gamer? You know, one of his earliest uploads, I think the first, uh, one of his, his first review, talking about uh, Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star even said something at the end of that, talking about how he didn't like how the ears on a character made them look like a furry. And he said, I quote, it pissed him off. <gasps> the happy console gamer being pissed off? What's going on here, right? So I will say to a lot of people that come by and they criticize me or, well, you know, not even criticize, but they get it wrong when they tell me that I'm just an incredibly negative individual compared to this person. Well, this person back over a decade ago was actually pissed off about some things in some games, right? He was actually, you know, a little critical about some things in some games. It's almost like he wasn't a shill back then in the early days. It's almost like there was a massive landmark change between the old Happy Console Gamer and the current Happy Console Gamer. But yeah, so I guess I'm the asshole for just, you know, saying the obvious. That he's not the same person he used to be. And maybe he uses that position, you know, to get a lot of freebies from companies because they know that, hey, this guy, he's not going to say one negative thing about our games, right? So I just have trouble here. I just have so much trouble. And I had this one guy that came by and he said, you know what? Um, everything on your channel, and I've not seen everything, but like pretty much I know that you're an incredibly negative person. I take that, I take that to heart. I take that offense to heart because I'm a very positive person. I'm a very happy person. I have a great life. But the idea that people just can't be truthful and honest is really troubling to me. I just don't like fake characters on YouTube. I don't like fake characters. I know that some people might say, hey, there's a place for fake characters on YouTube, but I just don't see it as being honest. And especially if it's like, you know, people that are not, if it's, if it's full grown adults is what I'm saying. I just don't appreciate that. I appreciate honesty. And I think the fake characters, like the fake character the Happy Console Gamer plays, these days, it's just like a, oh, I'm not going to say it's a slap in the face to your fan base, but your fans deserve your honesty, right? And there's many, many people that would probably definitely agree with me that this would be a better channel if he went back to being how he used to be. It wouldn't be that hard. It wouldn't be that hard. Just, you know, stop the, stop the head bobbing, stop all the weirdness. Just, just drop this character and go back to being a normal human being in your videos. It's not that hard, right? Yeah, you know, honestly, I have no issues with this upload from 2008. Now, this Happy Console Gamer, you know, I could deal with. Like, I could watch these uploads. I might watch more of his old stuff. I might find him interesting, you know? So if people come by and they say, hey, do you like the Happy Console Gamer? Um... Maybe the one from over a decade ago, possibly I could get into, but not this current, this current um, bobble-headed Muppet, 
creature, whatever he is right now. Oh, Star Wars is an amazing film, you know. Oh, Ray, she needs her own series. Oh, you know, this is a cyberpunk 2077. Uh, you know, I, I think the graphics are amazing or whatever he said about that. Uh, you know, you know, it's like clearly, clearly he is so desperately afraid of being negative or critical. Let's just say critical, right? You know, because it, it doesn't do well for a lot of other channels, even his contemporaries, when he's playing this overly happy character, just afraid to be critical. It, is it got to this point where they're getting so many freebies, they're getting so many game codes, they're getting so much stuff that they're desperately afraid of just being critical or quote negative of anything about video games yeah that's probably what it is but yeah i'll leave a link to it down below this video the last remnant review i fully radically recommend this particular upload not the current channel but this particular upload